In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to uh, wrap this um, beautiful chalcedony faceted uh, pear drop that is in the kit. We're going to wrap it with um, the 0.8 um, sterling silver wire and we're going to set in one of the beautiful blue lace agate um, nuggets on the top there. So it just makes a really beautiful, elegant pendant. And to make this um, pendant, obviously you're going to need um, the kit, which is beautiful, um, and also um, some tools. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some wire cutters, some flat nose pliers. Now either a round nose plier or um, I'm using a six step bow making pliers. Um, and I use these an awful lot in my um, demonstrations. So, right, so, so let's get going. So to get going, we're going to start off using the um, 0.8 sterling silver wire um, that's in the kit. Okay, so I'm just going to move the pendant out of the way for now and we'll come back to that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in um, the drop that I'm going to use and they are absolutely beautiful. The facets on them are gorgeous and um, they're, they're just heavenly, they're beautiful. Right, so I'm going to pop that down on the board. I'm going to take the um, silver wire and I'm going to um, just measure against the side. So I've got a drill hole here, at this point here. I'm going to measure against the side and I need to have a length here to create the little detail to set in the um, blue lace agate when we get to that point. So I'm just going to leave maybe the length of the pendant and so it's almost just the length of the pendant basically okay so now we know this is the point here at the top where we're going to actually put our, our loop okay I'm going to take my um, bail making pliers and I'm going to just pop them in at that point so I know that's the point that I'm going to work to okay so I'm just going to pop that in there just so that I don't lose that that position okay so now I'm going to pop in my bow making pliers and I'm going to cross that over. So we've got that crossover position there and the gemstone is going to sit in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy this up slightly. I'm just going to bring that round a little bit. And then what we need to do, we need to obviously bring that together because that's a little bit wider than we need for the, for the gemstone. I'm just going to bring those together. That actually just elongates that little loop a little bit, but that, that's not a problem at all, okay? So now we've got that position there. So we've got our drill hole there, which we can use now to secure to the frame, okay? So I'm going to take a, a length of the... This is just the length that I've got left after making um, the pieces that I made, okay? I'm just going to pop that through the um, chalcedony drop there. All of the time I'm working from the reel. So you can see my wire is still on the reel. And as this sterling silver wire, we don't want to um, we don't want to sort of waste any. So um, I just found that it was easier for me to do that and to make sure that I get exactly the length that I want. Okay. So I'm going to pop the drop there in, into position. And I'm going to hold everything. And I'm just going to wrap around this side first. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap that a couple of times. Now we've got a big gap there, but we'll pull that in in a second, so don't worry about that. I mean, you could actually wrap this first without the gemstone being there. Okay, so we only want to do a couple of wraps because we don't want too, too many wraps um, for the point eight to, to sort of go over, which, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I'm going to turn that round slightly just so that it makes it easier for me. So now I'm going to bring that in, and you see we're pulling that in together. And I'm going to wrap that around that outer one there. So again, pull that in, make sure it's not going to move. And pull that in. Now if we need to, um, if you've got hand cream on like I have, uh, and you need to, you can just pull that in with some pliers. Okay, right, you can do that again because that looks a mess. Right, okay. So there we go. So I've pulled that in a little bit more. And I'm just going to wrap around again. There we go. 
Just make sure those wraps are nice and neat. So we've got our gemstone secured in place. Um, and you could, if you wanted to, just do a little bit of a detail with these and leave that there. But we're going to do a wrap around to cover these wraps and just to make it look really neat and tidy. Okay, I'm just going to do one more wrap. Uh, I'd, I'd sort of recommend doing about three three wraps would will be fine. There we go. I just want to make sure that's nice and tight against that wire. There we go. So that pops into place. So now I'm going to cut off our excess um, our excess wire. So I'm going to just pop that in there. Cut that off. And I'm going to wrap that around and cut that off at that point there. Okay, let me move all those little bits out of the way. Right, so now we've got our loop and we've got our gemstone. But obviously the gemstone can still move around at this point. Um, so now what we need to do is do the wrap at the top here. So to do that, we've got our shorter section here, which is for the detail on the front. So we don't want to touch that at this point. So we're working on the side that comes from the reel. Okay. So now what we're looking at doing is making a bend in this wire to bring this wire across the top. Okay. So I'm literally going to move that out of the way just for a second. And I'm going to pop in my pliers about that position there. Below, we need it below, obviously below the wrap that we've just done. So I'm going to do that and make that. And we need that to come over the um, the one on the other side. So I'm going to make that angle there. And then I'm going to bring that back in. Okay, so we need to just, this is quite a deep gemstone. So we just need to make sure that that's in the right position there. Right, okay. So now we've got our angle across, going across the gemstone. So you see we've got our bend here. I'm just literally going to snip off that little bit of wire. It won't make any difference because we are going to cover it over, but you don't want any bumps in the wire. Okay, so we've got our wrap across. And all we're going to do now is we're literally going to wrap around up towards the, um, the loop that we've got there. First couple of wraps, you just need to be mindful that when you pull this, this um, could come out of position. So what we need to do is hold everything in place and start that wrapping process. Okay. Now, when you get to here, we need to obviously come across the top of that section, but we want to keep it quite close because we want that to be to be really neat. Okay, so now I've wrapped a couple of times, it's a lot more stable. Okay, so I'm going to hold that with my finger, and you can either wrap this around or you can actually twist the pendant, whichever you find easier. Okay. So we're going to wrap that around. So that's if you're twisting. If you're wrapping over, you're obviously just going to go across the top. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to do that really, really quickly to get to the top position. And once we're in that, that top position there, We can do our final wrap around the loop just there. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and make sure that goes all the way across the back. You can take some pliers and cut that off just there. And then I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and literally just give that a bit of a squidge, squidge in. Just to make sure that, that it's not sharp on the back and it's nice and neat. You can take your pliers and you can sort of bring everything together a little bit. Squish it down. Now if it's a little bit lopsided you can sort of manipulate it at this stage. You could even stretch it out so it's a little bit more open. there. So now we've got our pendant wrap at the top. We've got our loop. Our gemstone is secure and doesn't move around anymore. So it's not sort of floppy as it was before. And we've got our detail here. That we're actually going to wrap in um, a blue lace agate okay so what i'm going to do again i'm going to hold that in position and i'm just going to bring that wire across the top okay 
So we're just going to bring that across the top there. I'm going to lift that up. So that's coming across at that position. And then I'm just going to start off that. So we're going to make a, a spiral here and drop in a blue lace agate. Okay. So now I think that is probably a little bit long, but I'm going to leave it at this point just to make sure that we're that we're okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in my um, pliers. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to start to make that loop. So I'm going to make a loop there and obviously you'll need to get a blue lace agate and you'll need to size that up because you want the agate to sort of sit in the middle of that so that loop is a little bit large for what I need a little bit small sorry so I'm going to make that a little bit larger whoops and I'm going to pop that in just at that point there okay so I know that's sort of roughly the size that I want Okay, so now I've made that loop uh, and obviously if it doesn't fit, you can always sort of uh, select another one because there are lots and lots of gemstones on that strand. So now we've got our little loop there. I'm going to take some the other end of the wire in the pliers and I'm going to start to make a spiral. I'm going to make a spiral that's going to sit on top of that loop. Okay, so we've got our spiral and it's sitting on top of the loop. That actually is quite pretty um, on its own. But what you can do now is we can lift this up and open open that up. Might need to just open that a little bit more just to make sure that it's, it's going to fit in the gemstone. Pop in your selected gemstone, which this one is probably a little bit too big. Don't worry about that, we can tweak it. So I'm just going to open that up a little bit more. And then we're just going to manipulate this wire section. And you manipulate that wire section so it holds that gemstone in place. Um, and then when you've done that, um, that that's... Um, that's how you do that pendant. So you've got your beautiful pendant set there and you've got your gemstone set into that sort of position there. And um, that's how you do the pendant. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and um, I look forward to seeing you soon.